station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, I'm Gary Jordan. This week, cameras both in the hands of astronauts and mounted outside the International Space Station were trained on Hurricane Dorian. The powerful storm was seen clearly from 250 miles above the Earth throughout its path this week, affecting the Bahamas and the southeastern United States as it made its way north. Live video was captured as the space station passed right overhead, and NASA astronauts shared photos of their perspective of the massive hurricane. Views of storms from the space station could provide valuable data about the life cycle of hurricanes. An uncrewed Soyuz spacecraft is set to undock from the International Space Station after its short stay aboard. After just 11 days aboard the orbiting laboratory, the Soyuz MS-14 is set to undock and return to Earth for a parachute-assisted landing in Kazakhstan. Inside will be Russian cargo and an experimental humanoid robot, Skybot F-850. Watch the craft undock from the station live on NASA TV. No views will be provided for the uncrewed vehicle's landing. This week's question comes from Chinthi Bro, who asks about the space station's internet connection speed. Well, it's a lot faster now, thanks to a recent upgrade. The space station communicates with Earth through radio frequency signals using a system of tracking and data relay satellites stationed in geosynchronous orbit and ground-based antennas that are part of the space network. NASA recently upgraded software, data processors, routers, data lines, and more to increase the data rate to 600 megabits per second, effectively double of what was previously possible. Access to the internet is a small fraction of this capability, as its primary use is transmitting data for operating the space station systems and for collecting valuable scientific data. Just this week, it was used for plant growth experiments, 360-degree video, and much more. Keep sending in your questions using the hashtag AskNASA. We'll see you next week.